In this video, we're going to focus on how we can get the exact height of the bar or the thickness of the bar and making sure it starts at this very point and ends at that very point here. So let's start to look how to draw a line equal to the bar thickness in Chart.js 4. First of all, we need to make sure we convert our border template or we get the border template first. Where can you find this? Well, you can find it on Chart.js3.com, this specific link here, getting started. And this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you scroll down here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many of my other videos, check out my Patreon here so you can support my channel and get access to all the source codes that I have. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, is we're going to add up here another bar. And this bar here, or not a data set, so we have here two data sets here. But what I want to do is want to make sure that these are just identical colors for that one because we will stack them up afterwards. So I'm just going to remove here for the other data set everything except the red color, remove all these values here and all of these values. Save this, refresh, there we are. So next what I want to do is I want to scroll down here and I'm going to see index axis where we set on the Y so we swap the scale so it becomes a horizontal and finally I want to make sure that these are position or stack on top of each other. So I'm going to say here stacked for the x axis equals true. Put a comma here, another comma here, and then here stacked equals true as well. Save, refresh, there we are. So what we really want to do is we want to draw a line from this top, from this point to here down. And let's even put it on the x scale based on value 10. So how do we do this? We're going to make a comma here. I'm going to say here plugins and we can give this here a array because you could have more than one plugin and let's give this value bar width line or bar thickness line whatever you want to call it so then i'm going to say slash slash bar width line plugin block and then i'm going to say a constant bar width line equals and id bar width line and then the after data sets draw and this basically makes sure that we will draw the line on top of our bar and not before that or not behind it. If you do here before data set draw it will be set behind the bars but I don't want that. So then I'm going to say here chart arcs and plugin plugins but basically we won't be using these two last ones. Once we're done with that we're going to do here what we call an object destructuring. I'm going to say a constant equals chart. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, I have a video in the description box understanding chart yes object destructuring. So I'm going to say a CTX. You can say here the data. We'll get the chart area and probably we'll get here let's say top bottom uh width and height. Although we won't need them all I think we only need the, the height but just in case. Next scales x and y scale x comma y so once we did this we can now start to draw the first thing what i want to draw is just a basic line from top to bottom at this position and after that we're going to fine tune it and shave off the excess at the top and at the bottom and by the way just a quick note this is based on a single uh, bar if you have a chart with multiple bars again if you have a chart with multiple bars sorry for the sound in that case, what you can do is, uh, well, put a comment in, in the uh, description or in the, in the comment section. I'll make sure I make a separate video for that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to say here, let's start to draw the item. So let's say ctx.save to save all variables above. Then I'm going to say ctx.begin path, indicating that we're going to create something that is independent of any other item. Once we did this, I'm going to say here, let's give it a color, ctx.stroke style, and the color will be gray. Let's make it a British gray with an A for alpha. Next, I'm going to say here the thickness of the line, ctx.line width will be three pixels. Finally, I'm going to say here the starting coordinates. So I'm going to say here, ctx.move to, and I'm going to say here x and y, and this is just a starting point. Basically, where would you put the dot? In this case, I want to put the dot at this very point here. So what I'm going to do here for the X, 
I'm going to have here the built-in functionality because our item here is 10 and this is a linear scale with a numeric value. We can just say here a built-in functionality get pixel for value number 10. Once we did this, I want to go to the very top, basically uh, on the vertical level. And then I want to go down to this point here. And this is the top of the chart area. I'll just say top. Once I did this, I'm going to say here, not a CTX, but this one will be line to instead of move to. The move to indicates the starting point. The line to will indicate the connecting part of it. For this, what I want to do is I want to have a straight line going down. And so it will be straight and here this very bottom, which is also the bottom of the chart area. Remember, this is just an intention to draw. So we need to give now the command to draw. So we're going to say a CTX that stroke to draw the line. There we are. As you can see here, it is exactly on top of the bar. Beautiful. Now, how do I shave off the very top or measure what this length is? This here is basically, basically called a segment. This is a segment from a category. So let's start to work with this. To understand this, you must understand bar percentage and category percentage. I have a video for that. If you don't understand what I'm talking about or else just follow along, you probably can pick up a big part of it. So I'm going to say here bar percentage. And of course you could do this also in the options, then it will immediately impact every data set. In this case, I'll just do it on a single, on this data set and later on I'll do it on that data set, but you'll see the difference. So by default, the bar percentage is 0.9%. So if I save this and then I say here this, you see nothing happened. If I change this, let's say make this five, it's 50%. You can see it becomes smaller. All right. So I want this nine, same logic here. The same logic here will apply on the uh, bar. No, not is that that's a category. Sorry, category percentage. And that one is 0.8% by default. So to see a difference, I can change this number. And you can see now it changes as well. And these two here, if you have them all smaller, it will shrink the bar in however you want it. But of course, in our case, I just want this consistent. So we're going to put this back. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm going to copy this and apply the same here. Basically, they're identical, so it doesn't matter. But in our case, I will grab it from this point here. So now we have this. What I want to do is I want to figure out what is this here. Luckily, we have basically the height that will calculate. The height is the chart area height from top to bottom. We calculate how many pixels that is. So to calculate that, you can do your console log and you say height, save. Refresh, open up the developer tab. You can see here the height is 290 pixels or approx. So what I need to do is I need to multiply this by the percentages of 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 to get the exact height of the bar. So what I'm going to do here now is, uh, let's say a constant bar thickness, maybe height or thickness is, thickness would be a more appropriate name. Say here the height which is from the chart area multiplied by, how do we get to this specific area? This one here, more specifically, the one here from the data to the data sets, index zero, bar percentage and category percentage. For that, we have this object destructuring that gives us instant access. So we say data, data sets, index zero, dot. And then we're going to grab here the bar percentage. And then we also multiply that again with the same logic, but on category percentage. Doing this, we will get now a certain value of that here. As you can see here, this looks shorter, but it's just basically the coordinate that we're working with here. If I say this would be zero, you will see that this should be approximately, or this should be exactly same match. But now I need to make sure it pushes it down nicely. To do this, I'm going to use a simple trick here. I want to know what is the half of this bar thickness. So I'm going to say here constant, uh, I guess, half equals this divided by two, just to make it simple. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I can get the exact center here and then I can just add the half up here and the half up do uh, down here and we are good to go. So how to do this? We have this half now. So then what I will say here, 
I'm going to say y dot get pixel for value and the value I'm going to grab here is index zero or a value one or zero sorry index zero because there's only one item in this category axis and as you can see here it now starts at the center but how do we get it up and down well that's why we have the half here all I want to do is and then say you minus half we save that there we are and then finally we could do this one here as well but then we want to say plus half and there we are so if I zoom in we should be exactly on top as you can see here we have even with the bars everything works nicely or even with the borders and that's it